Okay. Now, let's pretend in the next five minutes that you are uh, city planners. Okay. You know what a city planner is? What, Zach? What's a city planner? I guess it's people in charge of the city and they like plan the city. Yeah, they plan the city. So we're going to build something that uh, might be close. Well, here you see houses up here. And we're going to build, make a development right here. But you are very aware, because you're very smart, that there are such things as erosion caused by water and caused by wind. I want you to think for a minute by yourselves. What questions do we need to ask ourselves about wind or water? before we start building something here. Okay, talk to your neighbor. What questions? I want you to come up with good questions to ask. Okay. Now, who's got a really good question? Remember, we're city planners. We want to think about the possibility of water erosion, but maybe wind. So what do we have to find out? Yes? Um, how, maybe how high the water is? How high the water is. Okay. Okay, what's the, sea, what's the sea level? This looks pretty high here. Is there a possibility that water could be so powerful that it might erode all of this away and the houses fall crashing? Keaton, what do you think? What's, what do we need to ask? Um, would the, uh, since it's so windy next to the water, would the wind blow it, the object off? Would wind blow the objects off? So what do we need to know about the wind? That's a good question. What, uh, what is the highest uh, rate it's ever went? What is the highest is rate? What, is, what do we call the rate of wind? What's another word for that? What's the... Yeah. Miles per hour. Miles per hour. Okay. What's another word for miles per hour? You're driving down in a car, you go so many miles per hour, and somebody gives you a ticket for... Speeding. Speeding. So what is the speed of the wind? If we have winds that rush by here at 100 miles an hour, might that be dangerous? If they're just 5 miles, 10 miles, they're tiny little breezes, that's not going to be as dangerous. Katie, what's another question we need to ask? Well, it might kind of also goes with the, what is the wind speed. If there were two winds blowing, city planners or town planners or any type of planners, they should think, hmm, what could happen if are the winds, do winds, back here normally um, attract, um, go on. Do they collide? Yeah, collide, because if that, that did happen, there could be a tornado. Are there tsunamis uh. down here? Have there been any hurricanes reported? Yeah, what is the likelihood we might get a hurricane here or a tsunami here? Yes, Lexi. Maybe it could have been when you build a sandcastle and water rushes up on it, it um, the bottom turns really dark because water hit it, so mm -hmm. they change the color. And it looks like on the bottom of that, it's darker than the It top. is? So what do we need to ask if we're city planners about the water? Um, has it rained and has there been a really big wave that came? Okay, what are the, what are the waves? Okay, what are the strength of the waves? Uh, As you mentioned, a tsunami. A tsunami is just a huge wave. It's about as tall as this whole school building. Zach. Um. How, oh, what is how many inches a year do they get of rain? Because okay. If they get a lot, then okay. the, uh, um, the water might rise. 
and it might flood the house. Erosion. Isn't this what you just said? Rock structure? Isn't that what you're talking about, Sammy? Rock type? Type of waves? You talked about tsunamis, you talked about hurricanes, you talked about the origin of the water. Ah, what does this mean, the shape of the coastline? We didn't mention that. Hannah, what do you think? Why is that important, the shape of the coastline? Because, um, like, you could tell, like, what kind of, um, like, disasters um, could happen around that area. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But how would the shape of the coastline affect the kind of disaster that might happen, Menard? Um, the, the coastline is like how is a, uh, the big line to show where the water could usually go? Where the water is usually going to go. Look at this. Here's part of the coastline right here, and then it goes all the way in here and in there. And the water is going up here all the time, and would you want to build right there? No. But there are houses there. Would you want to buy one of these houses here? No. Ah, maybe that would happen. Heaven forbid. A last thought, Nick. I also think if if the shape of the coastline, because if you if you want to buy a house and you look at the coastline, you can see what's under the like you can see what's under there like. Yeah. Under the ground so when you buy a house, Nick, what are you going to be careful to do? When you and your wife and family buy a house someday, what are you going to be careful to do? See what, what's under the ground. So what question are you going to ask the developer or the real estate agent? What's, what kind of land is under the ground? Yeah. What's under here? Well, they got caves under here that are continually eroding, and we're going to build on top of it, and boom, all of a sudden, you and your children wake up and smash, you're falling into a big hole. And maybe you're falling into the ocean just like this. Where I live out on Long Island, people build on beaches and the water, you know, erodes the whole beach. And these guys just fall right into the water. People wake up one day and the house is not sitting on land like this, but it's floating into the Atlantic Ocean. You come out on your porch, boom, you can fish. <laughs> Okay, you've done a wonderful job. Look what you've done. You named all of these. Whoops, whoops. Well, do you think that's erosion or do you think that's a trick? That's a trick. That's a trick. <laughs>